Women with disabilities are often excluded from women's organizations, nor do disability rights organizations identify or address specific issues for women. We noted that we hardly came across women, and particularly women with significant influence, in the disability movement, and felt something had to be done. How could we address this? We first carried out research and found there were very few women's leadership programs specifically for, or accessible for, women with disabilities. We also analyzed why women were not in leadership positions. We launched the Women with Disabilities Leadership Development Program in Cambodia in 2016. We invited women with disabilities to self-identify as potential leaders. The program involved five workshops, as well as a small grant facility so they could set up their own project. Individual results, the women report increased self-confidence increased leadership, advocacy, communication and facilitation abilities, an increased network, and increased skills in project development and implementation. Over half of the participants have gained paid positions, or promotions in their current positions. All have gained increased respect in their communities. Through the grand programs, the women also carried out work for other women. As a result, more than 500 other women with disabilities were reached, through cool and self-help groups. Training spuelding ramps and accessible toilets in public buildings so RNS raising opportunities, radio and workshops. Government meetings. We studied the women, and came up with a list that we think is absolutely essential in the success of leadership program. Skills not having the practical skills needed to lead or influence does pose a challenge. Women have less access to opportunities where they can learn, develop and practice skills. 2. Networking for many of the women, being together and building a network was priceless. Participants named this bonding and networking as absolutely invaluable in boosting their confidence about their self-worth and ability to lead. We therefore purposefully organized bonding opportunities. Three, practicing skills. Participants were mentored to apply for a grant. The grant facility proved to be a great way of ensuring that learning became full time. Technical skills were offered at the workshops so that the women learned the skills right before needing to use them in their projects. We are continuing our leadership program, a cohort of 25 new women have now joined the program. In addition, the women have gone on to establish the first women with disabilities. Lobby and Advocacy Network in Cambodia. They are currently in the process of formalizing this network.